Hello replay viewers. This is a scope I've been hoping to do for several years and never had a signal strong enough. So hopefully I have a signal strong enough this morning. I did some speed tests yesterday afternoon and hi Karen. Hi Karen, how's my video? And I did a speed test just now and I just got into the the uh, south end of the historical district. Is that Mindy? Hi Mindy. Someone give me a, a video report please. And then I, I'm doing something I've really never done before. Uh, if you might notice, it's, it's quite breezy, so I think I'm going to be here for another... Hi Luke! Another day or two. And I have, I'm going to do something I've never done before, and I hope it works out and it's not an accident. I'm going to scope while bicycling. Yeah, well, that's expected. Um, I think I might get a little better as I get a little farther north. Um, but I'm going to bicycle while scoping and also having a microphone on. So, off we go. Let's see how this works out. And this is a street with cars, though it's not a very busy road. So this historical distri district, oh, wait a minute, there's a bump, uh, started out when rich people 120 years ago wanted a warm place to spend the winter. So they came down and established this colony of, of cottages. Here's another cottage. Goodyear Cottage. I think anyone that's from the U.S. would recognize the last name Goodyear. So these are the, the tycoons of their day. So this is a very modest cottage. Wait till you see what we get up to. Uh, there's lots of events that go on here. I can see some tents. What's the temperature now? It's chilly. It's, uh, who's asking? Uh, in North Carolina. So I think the temperature, I'm going to make a guess and say 58. I don't have a jacket on. I'm hoping it warms up. Uh, most people I've seen this morning have a coat on. So off we go. Do a little back check, no one's coming. Yes, the tire company, Goodyear. So well known names from a hundred years ago set up this. Uh, established this little place. Henry Goodyear rose from $35 per month bookkeeper to the head of a vast lumber, coal, iron, and railroad empire. So they discussed business at the clubhouse and there's some other cottages up ahead whose names I don't recognize. But these, oh my goodness, a huge bus just went by. All right, off we go to the next one. Oop, no, I have to fall over first. I need to have my need to have my right hand on the shift. Oop, there we go. I'm on a very tiny bicycle, so this is not an easy operation. Mistletoe is this cottage. Just wait. These are the small ones. Wait till we get up to the vast clubhouse. So it's really neat that this whole area has been preserved. Uh, it probably is a tour bus. I, I think we'll probably catch up to it. There's some large bird, a vulture, roosting on that, that chimney. So you can see it's very pretty here. It's really neat that, that this area has been preserved and hasn't been, been made into new mansions or, or what have you. Someone had a, a very good vision. Most of this island is, is uh, not built on. Uh, I don't think normal people would live in these. You might be able to write, I don't know, that's a good question. So this is the construction from, from the first one we saw was 1896. So it's going to be 18, around the 1890s to 1920s probably, when these were all first set up. But look at, look at just how pretty it is here. Not just the buildings, but the whole grounds. It's just gorgeous. Over here on the left is, is how they arrived. There's, there used to be a wharf over there somewhere. I think we're coming up to it. But the grand uh, clubhouse is, is, is approaching, or we're approaching it. Oh, wait. Here's a display. Good. I, I, I'm glad I found this display. I knew it was around here somewhere.
and unfortunately we have an east east lighting angle so see it from the side it's an old telephone and the reading is the first transcontinental telephone call was transmitted by a telephone instrument from here well, Alex, Alexander Graham Bell had one of these cottages. So, of course, the first intercontinental inter call had to come from, from him. Oop, there we go. All right. So we're past the small cottages, and they're getting up toward the clubhouse. I think the signal might be a little better here. Whatever that bus is, is up ahead pulled off. And in front of us, oh my goodness, this is the little clubhouse. There's the other half of it. So the bus seems to be collecting, collecting people. So here's the clubhouse. It was completed for a modest price of $45,000 in 1885. And what I think is really cool is look what's right in front of me. I don't know, you should be able to make it out. This is an extremely posh croquet lawn laid out with with boundary markers, strings, the grass is, is, is cut down to, to about as short as grass can be and still live. And this is what people would do a hundred and some odd years ago. They get in their fancy clothes and, and play croquet. Hi. Hi, Helena. So that's the clubhouse. What's up? I'm giving you a little tour of the historical district on this uh, very pretty island. So I can try going in this direction. Uh, what's the best way to go? I'm gonna backtrack. Follow that car. I don't think I dare get too far away from the water because my signal will cut out. I think I'm getting my signal from across the, the bay. What am I doing here? I'm waiting out bad, bad winds. So here's a little more elegant uh, cottage, so to speak. I'll try to get into the shade so the sun isn't glaring on it. Here we go. I think this is guest rooms. This one looks like it's been improved. Oh cool. Does your mom like historical places? Or does she know something about Jekyll Island? So this one obviously has guests. You can see it's been been fixed up for, for occupancy. There's all these modern windows and doors. It doesn't have quite the old school look to it. Let's go on to the back side of one we might not have already seen. I bicycled around here yesterday. It's, I don't know my way around this place. You know, you just bicycle around and when it's time to go, then you head south. So here's the, the back side of one we've already seen. A little more modest. Obviously Georgia gets, uh, this is in Georgia, gets a little chilly in the winter even though these people came down here to escape winter. They still believed in a lot of fireplaces. I, I see like one, two, three, three chimneys. I bet this be, a, you know, the, the, the whole appearance of this island is so beautiful. You won't, you won't hear me say that too often. Yeah, well, if she's in Atlanta, she could make a trip here and visit. This is a, an extremely cool place. Uh, another thing I really enjoy, and aside from the historic district, is 
is this bicycle roads everywhere. Or I'm on a uh, on this main road, and and there's hardly any there's going to be hardly any cars here. This this whole island is extremely bicycle friendly. And speaking of bicycles, there's two right now. Maybe she was. If you're in Atlanta, it's not too far. We've had uh, we've had school groups come here from Atlanta. I see. I've seen them down at the marina doing dipping nets in the water and catching little plankton and, and sea critters. You're leaving in Russia. You're living living in Russia. No, it's not far from the mainland. Uh, Brunswick isn't very far away. You can drive across the bridge. Yes, I bet you do have a winter. I'll get past this hedge and we can get another view of more of the clubhouse. Right inside there, they put up the hedge because there's a pool. And obviously people don't want to be stared at while they're lying around the pool. Just look at these trees. And the moss. They'll pull off in the shady spot. So here's the, uh, the side view of this clubhouse. And looks like it has uh, there's lots of room, so if you didn't own a cottage, you can come and visit your friends and stay in the clubhouse, it seems. There goes a golf cart. So, they certainly, uh, certainly had, a, had a swanky arrangement. Let's go up to the next one. Center link, good. Thank you, Kimball. So there's the little golf cart that just passed me. That's how a lot of people get around. I think they're pushing, uh, carrying a, a lawnmower. My bicycle seat's a little high, so I'm having a bit of trouble. What's the best way to approach this next one? That's another nice big one. Oh, I know who this is. Crane Cottage. So, back in the day, Crane was was one of the few people that made porcelain toilets, which sounds a little funny now because a lot of places do. But had the lock on the market. There wasn't much competition. Uh, we're in Massachusetts, there's Crane's Beach with a giant mansion overlooking the ocean. That was a summer place and here's his winter place. Who would think there'd be money in, in porcelain toilets? But there you go. to watch uh, my navigation. So what's back here? So this might have been a little... Uh, you're welcome. This is, this is one of the coolest places I, I get to see on my trip. This looks like it could have been, and you, you can make your guess, either just a pretty vista or maybe they used it for, for some kind of bowling bowling game. I have no idea. I'm not a historian. But it's so pretty now. It really is. Obviously there's there's money being spent on, on maintaining these, these pro most of these properties. There is one that's uh, sad looking. They probably I think they all fell into a decline and they've been uh, restored. All right. All right, go, folks, you have we have a vote. Should I go to the right? And I don't think there's too much down there. Or should we go to the left and a little bit inland and see what's over in that direction? Let's see what people say, right or left? Left. One left. A lot of slow typers. A lot of uh, apathy. All right. Even Mindy. Mindy, what are you doing? 
You haven't voted. Left, left. Okay, two votes for left. Now, the reason we're we'll be a little careful here... Hi again, Luke. The farther I get away from, from the water, the more likely my signal is going to be uh, cutting out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I can make it here. We can go behind the go behind the clubhouse. Where is this? This is Jekyll Island, Georgia. One of the most beautiful spots I know of. Oh, I just passed a sign that showed that one of these places burned up. It's not too surprising because they did all their cooking on wood stoves. And of course, people would smoke in bed. Yeah, there's less wind. I hope the wind noise. I have my microphone tucked inside my shirt. Uh, and there's always lots of smoking in bed back in those days, and so mattresses would catch on fire. And up they went. And of course, there's no fire department that could put out a, a fully going structure. So here's a sweet little little church. Birthplace of the Federal Reserve. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of high-powered. Uh, I'm going to say men uh, would come down here for the winter season. Uh, notice how small the church is compared to the size of the, the other buildings. It makes you wonder who actually attended services. Just lie down, okay. Luke, are you going to sleep now? I just saw a woman come out of this one, so maybe this is a, a guest uh, house. Good morning. So you can drive around here in vehicles, but you have to have a, a pass, an electronic button to get on, on this section. Fresh flowers looks nice. How is the Jekyll Island Beach Club? I've never been to the Jekyll Island Beach Club. I'm here on a boat. Um, I don't think the Jekyll Island Beach Club and I would would would, would agree with each other. I'm too not that I'm not that swanky. This is I can look at this this from the outside, but I wouldn't fit on fit too well on the inside. Preserving the legacy. Yes, I'm on I'm here on a sailboat. The crane cottage and Cherokee in 2000 and 2001 was was fixed up for a hotel. So there's been various restorations over the years, which is not surprising. Where do I live? I live on the boat. Unless I'm working at Star Island in New Hampshire, then I'm living in New Hampshire, in a, on an island. Oh, good. We're getting up to. Uh, I just look at oh my god! I know I can't keep raving about the just how pretty it is here. Uh, once this scope is over, I'm going to go down to the beach, and I think I had a good signal at the beach yesterday. I might show you that too. No, I didn't win the lottery. It's very cheap to live on a boat. Uh, it can be cheap. Oh, well, this is pretty. Some arch architect had fun with this, this reflecting pool. I've never seen. I've never been. I don't think I've ever been down this this path before, to this section. So I've never seen that. And look at the. Uh, oh, it's too too much sun. Look at the flowers in these. Hello from Atlanta. In the in the ensconced uh, ensconced in the walls. Obviously, there's a lot of maintenance involved in, in keeping these places going. Oop, maybe go again. These, this must be a guest house, too. Hola from Brazil. Uh, just by the fact that cars are sort of parked in a sketchy, sketchy fashion. The prettiest town on the eastern seaboard. Uh, this is a very, very pretty spot. Uh, look, you know, you can kind of see in the windows here. At what beach? I'm not at a beach. I'm on Jekyll Island. You can kind of see in the windows, and, and there's not much inside. 
that ends. Now this one, let's see if I can stop in a shady, shady place. This one has not been restored. So it looks kind of like it might have been a garage. But this is what happens when, when old buildings are, are not kept up. Yes, I'm staying here until the... Uh, well, I'm trying to decide, Greg. I think today's too much wind to go anywhere. And the forecast for today is the same as the forecast for tomorrow. Yes, it's really, a, it truly is an amazing district. Here's a look back. I'll try to give you a look back. That one looks like it's uh, fairly empty and a little tired inside. So I don't understand. Uh, no, I'm on a boat, so I see all the marshes of Georgia and very little bit of, of civilization. I see the southern end and the, and the northern end on the coast. And we're running out of the district. We're getting up to the northern end. That might be the last. And look around. This might be the last cottage. We can zip back toward the water. Get to the front of it. So this isn't a cottage. This is a villa. Uh, people called their mansions cottages. I think just to be a little ironic. And they picked funny names, Ospo. What kind of a name is, is Ospo? Where is it? This is Jekyll Island in southern Georgia. Yeah, well, oh, I definitely have to pay for my spot. No doubt about that. This is one of the, this is the, probably the most expensive place I stop. But it's also the most uh, most pleasurable. Well, no, this is where this is where rich millionaire, millionaires lived a hundred years ago. They come down to their winter winter spots. There's a few restaurants, but this island is extremely unusual uh, in that most of the land is not built on. There's the historic district with. with Zero. Well, one one restaurant. There's a, a few streets with with houses for regular people, and that's it. And then there's the beachfront with some hotels. So here's the front of this one that, that looks slightly. Different. So he built. Someone built this in 1890 because living in the clubhouse with a family of eight was too much. So this one looks like it, it's somewhat fixed fixed up, but it doesn't seem to have the, the appearance of, of liveliness that the other ones do. So I'm going to scope out right now. I'll leave this as a, a final view and go up to the beach, which isn't very far away. And I'll try to scope from the beach. Yeah, though this this island isn't isolated. There's a there's a bridge, and and power lines, and all all what you would expect. But the island uh, just south of here, the Cumberland Islands, are isolated. You have to take a boat. So it's a little, those are a little more remote. So everyone, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll try scoping in about 10 minutes from the beach if I have a, a good signal there. See you all in a little bit.